Hey guys, today I will I would like to talk about the development of the new LP Power inline four cylinder engine. Uh, this is the prototype. Yeah, okay, this is the prototype, uh, and uh, I'm missing three th three cylinders uh, and some tubing. Tubing, uh, but uh, when turning it by hand, uh, I realized that I do not like this clicking sound in the uh, valve head uh, and I noticed that the switches aren't uh, switched far enough so now I'm trying to figure out what to do uh, this is bad because uh, every time it clicks the cams, the cam lobes get worn and after a while this is not going to be good. Okay, uh, so the engine, as you can see, it has two supporting shafts. Uh, those are to prevent uh, vibration and uh, to prevent the crankshaft from twisting. So we can have uh, more power at this end. Uh, it the the valve train is gear operated. Uh, simply, I could use a chain but uh, chain, chains, chain links are not available anymore from LEGO or they're expensive and uh, the gear uh, valve train is more reliable um, and the small cylinders of course we will have two switches only uh, they are enough of course for the small cylinders uh, and if we want uh, this engine to produce power and RPMs, uh, we we want it to be fairly rigid. If you remember the video of the old uh, inline four uh, link is somewhere I don't know here whatever um, that one did a little bit over three thousand RPMs. But if you watch the closely the slow motion, uh, you will see how the engine oscillates uh, this happens because uh, the the engine is not rigid enough so every time a cylinder goes up and down it causes the engine to vibrate and because the bracing is not good the whole engine can can do this so the middle basically sags up and down uh, and when this happens of course uh, the engine cannot reach more rpms because friction increases uh, and so on um, and this is my main concern here with this engine so I, I have much better bracing on both sides which are is not present in the old engine I have both uh, shafts and now I need to figure out what to do with this valve train you will also notice uh, a gear here this gear is glued to the axle and this is because uh, the lego gears the 24 the 16 tooth gears um, as I, I will show you here uh, they are symmetrical in every way so uh, let me show this on a fresh gear uh, what happens is you can see the come on focus okay you can see the there's a tooth uh, on every end which means that ah uh, come on focus focus okay which means that if you want to have two gears one uh, besides the other uh, you will have one gear will be slightly off uh, like here come on okay so while one one is perfectly uh, perfectly straight the other must be at an angle which means that the cam lobes themselves uh, come on the cam lobes will also not be parallel or yeah uh, which means bad timing that's why I glued 
uh, I glued one of those to the axle at the correct angle. So it, uh, so both axles are now parallel. Uh, but here, here, what I'm doing uh, is I'm testing uh, the effects of different cam lobes. Uh, let me show you. I have my test switch here. Okay, and I'm simply trying to figure out which cam lobe variant switches best so you can hear right away this is much better if you compare it to this this clicks and this doesn't and it feels completely different uh, i will try i will now test different variants of uh, of those cam lobes and see which one is best and uh, after i get the the cylinders i will install the tubing and we are going to see how the engine performs for the first time uh, so in this video series we are going to explore how prototyping happens here at lpa power and i will show you the process behind my reasoning anyway that's it uh, if you have any questions post them down in the comments and i see you next time